Hi and welcome back to Toby's Real Life Skills with Toby. Real Life Skills with Toby. Still me? Same face, hopefully. In today's video, I want to talk about the Victron Venus OS update to version 3. I just did recently the update to version 2.94 and I showed you how to do that. And they had some, I call it breaking changes, because you had to re-flash your um, SD card and then configure everything again, which luckily didn't was luckily wasn't too difficult. Uh, now we have the version 3.0. We want to look into the change log. What's changed, especially for me, there were a ton of st other stuff which changed, which changed already. But, uh, I think it's since April um, they were developing or doing stuff. So it's uh, one and a half months later, and they released a new version. So where you can find information, victorenergy.com. And uh, here you see the latest post under blogs. And then you just click on this one and you see Venus OS version 3.0. Uh, headline, generator start stop improvements, ESS peak shaving. There are a lot of stuff. Um, they just pointed out a few things, improvements, um, which is nice. But I want to look at the change log. And that's this one here. And there is a ton of other stuff. And um, of course, generator start stop related. Um, I'm not going through everything. I'm going through the stuff which is, sorry, important for me uh, because I don't have such a huge setup, but I have a couple of things which I'm interested in to see or if something changed and then maybe recognizing something also on Raspberry Pi. So we have also the GX Touch. I don't have a GX version. That's the one. Then we have the Multi, Quattro and Easy Solar for the people out there. My goodness. Then we have the ESS and energy meter, DVCC. Then we have the GUI user interface. That's cool. Um, let's see, there are a couple things. So they broke something in version 2.93. Now it's fixed again. It should be fixed. That's great. The Wi Fi password length got extended to 63 characters. New languages added. Improved text for tank sensor name and pump configuration. We don't have a tank, but that's fine. Then we have a progress indicator from 0 to 100% to Venus OS firmware downloading. I just want to say we test this now, but we will upgrade to version 3. So now. And then fixed tank temperature unit Fahrenheit. So that's good. I guess then we have the VRM portal itself. Uh, bug related stuff for the calculation. Mm -hmm, cool. Adding various new fields, which we sent to VRM. Improved the dashboard and dashboard controls. Great. Then we have a couple other things. PV inverter, Modbus TCP, NMEA 2000 out. We have something for the node. Node red. The Venus OS large image. Haven't tested it yet. Same with the signal K. Haven't tested it yet. They did some improvements here. We see, and then they have some developer internal uh, information here. What we are going to do, um, as always, I like to connect uh, through my browser, so Raspberry Pi is somewhere in the network. Uh, I know my IP address, so I just tap the IP address into the browser, and then I'm connected. Uh, it's still not connected to the rest of my system, so it's just idling, basically. But what are we doing? Pretty straightforward. Click on the settings, go into firmware. And then we see we have version 2.95 and there is a online update. And we want to do check for updates. So I'll double click on this one and, it, and then we can already see. And yes, I want to do the update. So I'll double click on this one and we'll see what, what happens. Something didn't work out here. Let's see, something didn't work out, probably. Interesting. I'll do a reboot. Let's reconnect. There we are. We, oh, sorry, that's not where I want to go. Firmware. Still 2.94, online updates. Latest release. Press to check. Update available, press to update. Double click on it, it says installing. Let's see. Did you 
you see that? Firmware installed rebooting, okay. That's probably a better sign than before that when it didn't work. Oh. Uh oh. That doesn't look good. Oh, I know what's happening. Kind of proof of concept. Set at the same time. So, what are we having here? It looks like... Let's go to firmware. We updated f successfully to version 3. And when I go back... Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that one still works. Yeah, it's pretty empty, everything. Two things, which disappeared, and I did not configure. I will probably do in the next video because that's important so it did not take over the relay configuration which I had in place and it did also not take over the temperature of the processor itself but what it did <laughs> it updated, updated version 3.0 so be aware of that I had to do it twice and I had a reboot in between I'm not sure why the first time didn't work my assumption is that it didn't work because of maybe the GPI, GPIO list yeah Maybe because of the GPIO list, which we got, uh, which we changed, but it's something we'll talk about in another video. What I would like to see again is probably going back in here. Yeah, I don't have the GUI mods installed anymore. Shut up monitor. Sh sorry, sorry, shut up. Shut down monitor and the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi display setup. So auto install packages. I want to have this. Checking for installs. Oh God. That will help so much. Yay! It's just doing all the installs which you had before. That's nice. Thank you again, um, Kevin, for this amazing setup helper for Venus OS. It's amazing. Let's see. Must be run from the client line. Okay. That's fine. I didn't. I think I didn't set this up in any way because I have to remove the package. Because um, I changed the configuration manually and didn't use this package. We'll talk about the Raspberry Pi 4 in a different video and how to install it from scratch. And maybe using very easy tools or making it as, making it as easy as possible. Let me phrase it like that. Good. Display setup. Did I uninstall the wrong one? Perfect, I think I uninstalled the wrong one. So again, let's go all the way down. Temperature, proceed. And reconnecting, cool. Good. Still more responsive, at least on computing. Let's see. I would like to install a Raspberry Pi temperature I did do a reboot um, probably probably because of I because I install it or try to install it and uninstall it on accident so you might be lucky and you don't have to do that all right I'll download a package we'll download it again Wow should be more patient maybe I did it three times clicked on it but I think it was just taking it seconds and I was already responding to yes install but do the install oh my dream Pi processor tip there it is back oh. in Celsius love it what we've done we updated to version 3.0 we did go to package manager thanks again Kevin can't say it enough and then I um, finally auto install packages I clicked on that because all the active packages were not installed after the upgrade so it did the installation itself we should have to shut down monitor we should double check for the GUI mods and also the setup helper is back installed so what we do is the GUI mods so we can see they are there 
Um, since I don't have a lot of stuff here, we do have settings, general, and we do have the shutdown button as well. Amazing. So everything is installed except for the relay. We will do this for the relay in the next video. I hope this was helpful for you when you before you upgrade to version 3. I had to do a click twice with one reboot in between just that it worked. Not sure why. Let me know in the comments if you also have the same issue or if it's maybe just my configuration because I didn't have anything connected and realized, hey, wait, there's an eviction component. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Tschüss.